joining me today. My name is Janice and I have a really great Christmas DIYs I want to share with you today. So I hope you're ready. Um, have you went Christmas shopping yet? Have you started your Christmas shopping yet? I have not. Let me know in the comments below if you started your Christmas shopping. Anyways, I don't have a theme today. It's all Christmas stuff that I decided to make and throw in there. Um, also, I threw some Grinch in there for my subscribers that have been asking me about some Grinch DIYs. So, without further ado, let's get crafting. So here's the supplies I used for this first DIY. And I'm taking these window clings, the Grinch mist, and I'm gonna place one down with a little bit of Mod Podge. So I'm gonna be using some Mod Podge. I'm taking this Dollar Tree plaque that I got, this piece of wood. I painted it with the Waverly White Chalk paint. These window clings are so cute. I got these at Walmart for I think $1.98. Now here's Max the dog, so cute. I'm gonna take a little Mod Podge and place him down as well. And here's what it looks like so far, so adorable. Now I'm gonna be placing down this little Santa hat as well. And the last piece I'm going to be using is this little cute Christmas stocking. Now I'm going to be using this pretty rope that I got from Hobby Lobby. Um, I'm just going to take a couple pieces and hot glue it all around the little wood piece. This is a quick and easy DIY if you're looking to do something for a Christmas decor. You can use any type of window clings. Um, really it comes out adorable. So I'm going to be using the same pretty rope to create a little hanging hanger in the back. And this is how it turned out. Number two, this is another Grinch DIY, quick and easy, uh, under five minutes. I took the Dollar Tree little wood sign, these little beads that came with it, I painted it with Christmas green and the red lac lacquer it's called. I'm taking this Hobby Lobby paper and I'm gonna place it inside the little wood piece. I'm also gonna be using the Mod Podge. So I already cut the craft paper to size, now I'm just placing some Mod Podge inside. Then I will be placing the craft paper inside the little wood frame. So I'm taking one of these window clings and I'm going to take a little bit of Mod Podge, place it on the back of it, and then place it down inside the wood frame. Now I'm taking this little Grinch uh, window cling and I'm going to place it down as well. Now I'm going to be taking this Christmas green color and I wanted to give the outside frame a little bit of a color so I'm just going to place some on the edges. And this little frame has two holes at the top so I'm going to create a little hanger by using the rope. I'm going to take it apart and just grab the um, red piece. Now I'm taking those little two wood pieces and I'm feeding it through the string. So because the color was just a little bit too bright, I'm taking my Dollar Tree sanding block and just going to sand it down slightly. So I picked this up at Hobby Lobby and I'm just going to take a piece of it and um, hot glue it to the bottom of the little wood frame. Now 
It looks so cute with the feathers at the bottom, don't you think? I think it came out adorable. DIY number three, taking my chalk contour, I got this candy cane, it's so cute, taking the fuzzy cloth and I'm placing it down a few times, then I'm going to place it on this piece that I got from Goodwill, um, it's a glass frame, it doesn't have a backing to it, so I thought this would be very cute, so I'm going to place it on the front and I'm going to start using the chalk contour colors in white and then in red. So the first color I'm going to be using is the red color and I'm going to apply that all over the word Candy King Company. I'm using the red for the Candy Canes as well. So now I'm using the white paste I'm covering in all the words. All right, so now I'm going to reveal what it looks like. I think this came out so adorable, so cute. So because this doesn't have a back, I created one with a foam board, but I also used the Dollar Tree brown craft paper, brown backing paper. I cut it out, and this is what it looks like. It came out so adorable. DIY number four, this is what I use in this project. I'm taking this Dollar Tree gift bag. It's so cute. I love the candy canes. And I have this uh, wood frame that I got from Hobby Lobby on clearance I'm going to be using as well. So I'm just cutting the bag out right now and then I'm going to place it down. Um, but first I'm going to be using that material that I got from Dollar Tree. Um, because the bag is a little bit too small for the frame that I'm going to be using. So I'm taking my white Waverly chalk paint and I'm going to be painting the outside edges. Now that it's dry, I'm going to be taking the material that I got from Dollar Tree and I'm just going to cut a piece and then I'm going to hot glue it inside. So I'm using my hot glue gun and just uh, placing a little bit of bead of glue around the edges and placing down the material. The reason why I'm using hot glue is because I might want to use this frame in the future. So now I'm going to be placing down the little gift bag and also using some hot glue. It's very cute. I think it's adorable. Now I'm going to be placing down four little peppermints that I got from Hobby Lobby on the edges. So I'm creating a hanger, I'm taking the actual string that came with the bag and just hot gluing it to the back of the frame. And this is how it turned out. <music> DIY number five. I'm taking this Dollar Tree gift bag and the Dollar Tree frame. I'm just removing the plastic from the frame. I'm removing the backing of the frame and I'm going to place it down on the gift bag to trace it. This gift bag is so cute. This is a very quick and easy DIY if you're looking to look for some inexpensive decor for Christmas. Now that it's cut, I'm going to place it back into the frame. And this is how it turned out. <music> DIY number six. This is what I use for this DIY. So I'm going to be using this lacquer red paint, painting this Dollar Tree wood piece that I got with one quick coat.
I use my Cricut and placing down the word it says, visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. I seen something like this at Hobby Lobby. I added two um, Dollar Tree snowflakes to each side. And this is the end result, so adorable. DIY number seven, this is what I use for this DIY. These are all from Dollar Tree. I'm gonna be using the same red paint and I'm taking the little rope piece off right now and then I'm gonna paint it with the red lacquer. Now I'm gonna be using this white apple barrel paint and I'm gonna be painting the other wood piece with it. Now that everything's dry, I'm going to start um, using my white marker with a ruler, create some lines. I'm trying to create like the illusion that it's a chimney. And it looks like a chimney. <laughs> so now I'm going to take these Dollar Tree uh, stickers, um, little letter stickers, and I'm going to place the word ho ho ho. This is another cute and easy DIY. Came out so adorable. Now I'm going to be putting everything together, grabbing my hot glue gun, placing some glue on top, place the little chimney part on top of the white wood piece. Taking some Dollar Tree floral foam and using this red felt that I got from Dollar Tree. Just gonna wrap it with a little bit of hot glue. So I'm just placing a little glue inside. Gonna place that little piece I made. And this is gonna support the little elf's legs. Um, give a little height. I'm taking some hot glue. I'm gonna place it on the little elf and inside and then place him down. This came out so adorable. And here is the end results. Last year I That's it for this video guys. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so this way you get notified every time I upload a new video. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye. that I can come home to Yes, I am on my way